Hi everyone, I'm on. You're watching Nurses Jewelry. I just finished showing uh, two types of gift wraps with box lids. So we've got our fan cellophane over here, and then we've got our uh, boxy type one here. You can put this into a bow. You can get creative with this. And now I wanted to show you guys, um, you know, how to do uh, another idea for a lid gift wrap on a, you know, a non-standard type of lid. So I've got this. Hanukkah dreidel lid over here, which I got from my Hanukkah gift box. And of course, you can use the gift box, it's, box itself for different things. I'm going to be using the lid for a Shambhala bracelet. Now, even more so, <coughs> excuse me, I also have these uh, Hanukkah streamers that I bought, and I also have these uh, Hanukkah bookmarks that I bought. And I figure out I'm going to incorporate it into the gift because, as you can see, the bracelet is a lot smaller than the lid, and you can get so creative with all this type, of, uh, all this type of stuff. So for this specific one, I had originally had this filler for one of these demonstrations, but unfortunately for the uh, these types of jewelry, this filler is a little too thick. So I ended up using the filler that I wanted to use for this on a different gift wrap, and I'm going to be using something else instead. And that is cotton. And I'm sure you're surprised that I'm using cotton as a, as a gift filler. But yes, you can get really, really creative when it comes to the different fillers. Now, I figured the cotton would be nice just because, you know, Hanukkah just passed. And, you know, during Hanukkah, it's still a very cold season. You can also use this idea for Christmas gifts because it basically looks snowy. So that's a huge, huge plus, and you can definitely, definitely use cotton. There are different high household items that you can use as fillers, and you just need to tap into that creativity. So I've got my filler over here, and I'm going to have the bracelet over here. And now what I wanted to do is to add just a little more, um, you know, uh, make it a little more interesting, I guess. I was going to basically tape this onto here, over here on the side. Now I just have to cut it off. So this is just basically an idea. If you have, you know, a ribbon or a streamer or whatever it is, you can always, always throw it on and get creative with it. Now, since I don't want to cover the back because the back is going to be visible, I'm going to just cut this to the length that I need approximately. And I'm just doing this all very, very quickly. When you're doing this for a gift, I'm sure you're going to be a lot more accurate than I'm being right now. But I just wanted to show you guys an idea that you can utilize for, you know, different gift wrap gift wraps that you're going to have to do at any point in time. So I'm taping this down at the top and now I'm going to just work on the bottom, see if we can get that down. So we're going to be cutting off that happy heart over here. Lovely. And I'm going to tape that down as well. Beautiful. So now I have the beginning of my gift box over here. I'm going to place the bracelet inside. Inside our snowy little area over here. And now to make sure that the bracelet doesn't shift and move around, I am going to tape it down. Uh, as I mentioned in previous videos, there are different ways to tape it down, different ways to secure it. You do want to be careful if you're putting the scotch tape directly onto the piece of jewelry because it might actually, the sticky stuff might come off onto it. So you do want to be careful, but there are different ways to tape it down. In this case, uh, I'm going to be taping it down directly. This is one of those cases where I feel confident that it's not going to stick, especially because it's going to be going on the nylon part of the Shambhala bracelet. So I'm going to stick it down this way. Just had to choose which way I wanted to do it. So there you have it. That Now you're set for the actual wrapping. So for this particular gift wrap, what I wanted to do was the easiest thing that you can do as far as cellophane is concerned. First of all, I'm going to cut my piece of cellophane, of course. Get that prepared. And now for this particular gift wrap, you want to have a little bit on the sides, over here and over here. Now for this particular gift wrap, you can also um, not cut it, you know, thinner over here so you can actually fold these down. What you can do is you can actually cut a huge piece. However, I'm telling you now that does waste a lot of cellophane, but if, you know, to each his own, whatever floats your boat, you can do a huge piece where you put it in the center and you literally just lift everything up and tie it at the end. So we're basically doing the same concept, only I'm going to make it a little bit cleaner, a little bit neater, and uh, waste a lot less cellophane on it. Let's see, approximately, da 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 da. Okay. 
Try not to let your cellophane fall halfway through. <laughs> All right, so now I have my piece of cellophane. What you want to do is you want to fold it over. You want it to be even front to back. And now in this case, because it's a dreidel and it's kind of shifting on the side, I'm going to be placing it this way. Okay, that way it gives me a little bit enough room on the sides to you know secure it, and then enough at the top to be able to do this. So this is basically what it's going to look like approximately. So I have it set down, and you want to turn it onto its front because when you're uh, when you're wrapping and you're basically closing it up, you want to close it up towards the back because that way it's neater. Because if you have all the scotch tape and stuff towards the front, it doesn't look as neat. So I've got it halfway, and I've got it placed where I want it. Now I have it placed where I want it, and. When you're dealing with cellophane and you're about to close it up, you always want to have maybe a few pieces on your fingers. It's just a lot easier because sometimes while you're wrapping the cell, the cellophane gets away from you. So if you have a chance to kind of catch it right there and then, you want to take that chance. So in this case, because it's shaped differently, what you want to do is you always start out at this bottom, okay? No matter what side it's on, at the bottom. And you want to push that up. Okay, so you want to push it up towards the, the side of the box, side of the lid, or whatever it is that you're doing. Next, you're going to basically fold over and then fold towards the back. Now, you want the front area to fold over towards the back always, always. You don't want the back folding over towards the front for the finishing touch because then, again, you're going to have all those imperfect, imperfections towards the front. So I just basically did one of those corners over here, but because, again, it's a different shape, I have to do this area as well to secure this down also. So let me just lift this up to show you. So basically, I have to wrap according to the shape. Now, if this was straight, you know, if I had my dreidel straight, it would have been a little bit easier. But in this case, I wanted it to lay because I kind of wanted to stand. So again, now I have to do the same thing that I did over here. Push this down, bring the back towards the front, and then finish off with the front towards the back. So I'm going to do that now. Pushing this in, fold down the front towards, back towards the front, and then the front towards the back. Now over here, front towards the back, I'm gonna have a lot of excess. So what I'm gonna be doing is folding it over first. I'm going to give it a little bit of a pleat so that I can get a better finish at the end over here. Like I said, cellophane can get tricky. <laughs> I do love working with cellophane though because the possibilities are just simply endless. Alrighty, so we've got that down now. Now I'm going to do the other side. Same concept. Lift back towards the front, front towards the back. If you need to do a fold over, do a fold over. Lovely. Alright, so we're done with that part. And now to finish it off, all you have to do is tie this off. And you're done. I don't even need my piece of scotch tape right now. So in this case, I actually had, um, you know, this ribbon that I wanted to use originally, but then I found that I have this ribbon. It's kind of like a streamer. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I figured I could try it. So what you want to do is over here, and this applies to every uh, any cellophane gift wrap that you're doing. Um, once you've got the cellophane standing up, you want to just punch it up crunch it up and you want to separate it a little bit but it's a little more poofy at the top now scrunch a little poofy get your ribbon or your uh, you can use curling ribbon string you can get really creative with that you see I'm just tying it around my uh, scrunched up thinness that wasn't right right <laughs> Now another way that you can secure it is you can actually use scotch tape to secure this area. And scotch tape works so well on cellophane. Alright, now let's say the streamer was a good idea to use, which I'm kind of, I don't really think it was that good of an idea, but let's say it was. So basically this is what it would approximately look like if you were going to use the correct ribbon. 